A former Maricopa County recorder is speaking out ahead of Tuesday's primary election, warning people not to believe conspiracies and false information. And she wants people to know the election is secure. 12 News journalist William Pitt spoke to Helen Purcell, who said that she cannot stay silent about it. We've never had a perfect election. Anybody ever says they did, they didn't. <laughs> and Helen Purcell would know. She ran the county elections office for 28 years. She remembers the first time she heard someone say her elections were rigged. I couldn't believe that people were even saying what they did. Those unfounded conspiracies started right about the time she lost her re-election bid for Maricopa County Recorder in 2016. That's why she wrote this, an op-ed in the Arizona Republic, trying to explain to people that the elections are secure, accurate, and trustworthy. What you're hearing is not what actually happens. And here's what really happens. And if you don't believe that, then go get involved in it. Purcell wrote that Maricopa County's elections are extremely transparent. You can actually watch them count. The cameras are always on. You can volunteer to watch or even work them. That's not to say there aren't issues. There always are. But they're typically hassles, not schemes. There's always something in every election. You'll have probably at least one polling place that won't open on time because Either the poll workers didn't show up, which, which is usually not the case. It's usually the custodian that was supposed to open the facility up who doesn't show up. Issues like that cost Purcell her re-election bid in 2016, when the number of polling places was cut from 200 to 60. There were huge lines at polling places for the presidential preference election. People waited for hours. What on earth is wrong here? It was just ridiculous and stood out in line. Forever. But everyone voted and the votes were counted, same as every other year. Now at age 88, Purcell could be sitting back watching it all happen. Instead, she's still on the front lines because elections were almost 30 years of her life. She can't see it torn down. I want people to respect our system. We worked very hard for a lot of years to put the system in place. And I want people to respect it and feel comfortable in going to vote. This is about, you know, our country, the future of our country. William Pitts, 12 News. All right.